be with, I call a member for Newcastle. Thank you, Mr Acting Speaker. I rise today to speak about New South Wales Labor's <coughs> plan to eliminate the exploitation of vulnerable employees through wage theft and the effect this will have on my electorate in Newcastle. Labor's new five-point plan will target unscrupulous employers and track the heaviest penalties in Australia, <coughs> as well as jail terms for individuals. I'm extremely supportive of the proposed Lords after hearing just too many stories in my role as the member for Newcastle of workers being taken advantage of when just trying to do a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. I was outraged when I heard of the now privatised Newcastle bus drivers being underpaid by the new owners of the network, Keolis Downer, just months after the new arrangements came into effect. I noticed that no time was wasted installing the new logos on the buses. However, paying their employees the correct wages seemed to be a second thought. The Transport Minister should be ashamed for selling out these hard-working Novocastrians who got caught up in this government's obsession with privatisation. Labor are going to introduce a new wage theft law to criminalise deliberate failure to pay wages and entitlements. We will introduce new laws to hold head franchises accountable for the actions of franchisees. We will widen powers of workplace inspectors to undertake wage audits. We will introduce a licensing scheme for labour hire companies to force compliance within, with existing labour laws and we will bring in new laws to protect Sunday penalty rates in all state awards and agreements. I believe in these laws just as I believe in supporting and standing up for the rights of workers because I am a member of the Labor Party and we are the only ones to stand up for workers in New South Wales. I understand that deceitful employers need to understand that this kind of behaviour is just not on. These people usually exploit young workers who have only recently entered the workforce, who often desperately need a job and are only just finding their way into the world. At around this time last year, two fish and chip uh, shops in Newcastle were investigated by the Fair Work Ombudsman after the employees sought help. The street, Steel Street fish market outlets at Market Town and Charlestown Square were audited and found to owe $40,000 to their employees. The Ombudsman found 21 employees were paid a flat hourly rate of $18, compared to their award entitlements of $23.74 for ordinary hours, $28.49 on Saturdays, $33.24 on Sundays and $52.23 on public holidays. Entitlements including leave pay, overtime, pay in lieu of notice and a clothing allowance also fell short and play slip requirements were not met. The largest individual underpayment was $10,950 for a Charlestown employee, almost a quarter of the total $38,344 short change between August 2014 and September 2015. A dozen market town workers were underpaid a total of $17,000, while nine staff at Charlestown shared a $21,000 shortfall. Interestingly, the Ombudsman said that a letter of caution had previously been sent to, Charlestown, to the Charlestown business. But clearly, they didn't take this letter seriously and are now paying the price. But it appears that in order to appeal these, to these employers, you need to put in place penalties that will have them act. Penalties, like the inclusion of jail terms up to 14 years for unscrupulous employers engaged in wage theft from employees. Other measures that will make them accountable include publicly displaying minimum wage rates paid to staff with their business registration where patrons and the public can see. Also, putting dodgy businesses on a public name and shame register and make them ineligible to participate in future contracts with the New South Wales Government. Vulnerable young workers have been cheated out of a staggering amount of wages by crooked bosses and it just has to stop. Dodgy employers have been put on notice, pay the correct wages and entitlements to your staff or face the consequences. The Labor Party are the party of the work for the workers. We represent the workers, we fight for the workers, we are the workers and we will always stand up for workers' rights. Thank you. Uh